Hey everybody, it's Kevin again from 3D Printed Props. Welcome back. Appreciate you checking it out. In today's video, we're going to be working on yet another build from our Rust Lord cosplay. A little bit of a smaller prop, easier to do, but still very fun. We're going to be taking a look at this awesome Fortnite silencer. This thing is beautiful. <laughs> Hey everybody, I want to thank you again for stopping by. This is a really fun and easy print and paint job to do. Again, if you head over to 3dprintedpropsgear.com, it's in the description below. Links to all the paints I used, um, glues, whatnot. This file uh, I got over on Patreon from Colonius. So again, head over to Patreon, check out Yuri, check out Colonius. The links are below. An amazing file. It's a buck to sign up for his uh, his little uh, club there to, to support him. While you're there, check out mine. I've got my STLs and, and some patterns for some foam stuff uh, over there too. And this is just a great little print. And this will be for, again, Russ Lord. i got to figure out how I'm gonna, where I'm going to put all this. He, they just pull it out of their backpack. Uh, and that one's coming, the backpack video. So, yeah. Let's go over and take, oh, this is what I should show you before we go over there. Look at what he did. That unscrews. That is crazy detail. <laughs> it's insane. So again, check out his uh, links below and support him over on Patreon. It's just an amazing fun file. Let's head over to the workbench and we'll go through printing, uh, painting, or printing, priming, painting, and assembly. All right, guys, let's head over. Okay, so first things, of course, is to do the priming and sanding. And, you know, we just bring it outside and prime it up. Then I went ahead and used a sort of just a black gloss spray paint and went ahead and looked at my reference and started taping everything off. Uh, fairly easy tape job, uh, just getting in all the cracks and crevices to make sure that you've got things covered up. Just always remember, look at your reference uh, whenever I don't. I always miss something so now we're just gonna do the barrel area and I'm just pressing the tape in with the back of the sharpie and boy I need a new blade for that I can see just watching this video and well, of course it didn't cut that either that that could definitely mean I need a new blade and of course we use a bag to finish that off and here it is the initial coat of paint and this is where I'm making an error uh, <laughs> I am NOT ready to be taking all this tape off yet I have not done the camouflage so uh, I got a little ahead of myself. I was really excited. And then I went ahead and I taped it all back up again so I can paint this camo. So remember, be sure you're ready. If I looked at my reference, I probably would have said, oh, wait, I need to tape the camo. Now here I'm using my um, one of my favorite tapes uh, for the, the detail work. This is just a vinyl automotive pinstriping tape. And it really... Uh, allows you to sort of bend and create, you know, uh, get nice curves. And I'm just going through and I'm going to do it kind of like the gun in the reference, but you know, at the same time, it's camouflage. So I'm just going to have fun and mix it up and, and, you know, get it in the main areas that I've seen it. But, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but I think it's going to look like camo. And I, I uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And then, of course, we've got to tape up all the other areas, have some coffee and then see how she turns out and very happy with this it looks like camo uh yes in the reference it looks a little yellower but you know it's hard to match paints exactly and we're just putting on the uh, sights and these were just separate prints did, did a little bit of painting too like a little silver of the screw there's the sight i'm gonna put that on and i checked to make sure it was going the right way and there we go that is a sharp looking gun. Clonius designed an amazing model and super excited to be able to print this thing out. And now, of course, we got to do a little bit of detail work. Uh, if we look at the reference, we see that some of the areas have some black paint. And, you know, you're just going to get a really fine brush, some cheap acrylics, and, uh, you know, give it all a little detailing that it needs. And all the paints and the brushes and all the things that I used, a different color scheme here of spray paints is over uh, in the description below. And of course, over at the site, 3dprintedpropsgear.com. And we're just painting this in and making several mistakes and having to go back over it. 
And here we go with the shh, because this is a silencer. So we need to paint that in. So I'm just putting a little bit of paint on that brush and bringing it over. And there we are. Shh. Well, all right. That was the Fortnite silencer. Shh. Love this gun. It feels great in your hand perfectly. Just at 100% uh, I printed it at. Really easy to sand, really easy to finish, a beautiful file. Head over to Clonius' Patreon site, links are below. If you're interested in what I used for painting and gluing, head over to 3dprintedpropsgear.com. Those are affiliate links. Take it over to Amazon. They help out the channel. And again, look for, in the link below, the coupon code for ZL Tech. Uh, filament. I'm loving this stuff. I've said it in a previous video. I printed through 10 rolls already and I just looked down over there because I've got another box of 10 I need to open up because I am out. And that's why these printers aren't going. I just got that in the other day. So check it out. Fantastic print. We're so close to putting this one together. I'm very excited. Next few videos where we are going to work on more 3D stuff for him. But we're going to all start, start working on some of the other things. Uh, the jacket, the scarf, uh, book bag, pants, things like that. Because he's got some other things. And we'll even be doing some foam work to make the, the um, shin guards. So that's going to be fun. Those are weeks to come. So again, like and subscribe. Hit the little bell and you'll find out when. I want to thank you. Don't point the gun. Keep your finger like this. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.